इन टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज ऑफ कंपाउंड एंगल्स देर आर सर्टेन आइडेंटिटीज दैट इज कोसाइन ऑफ द डिफरेंस एंड सम ऑफ टू एंगल्स सो इवन इफ वी कैन प्रूव वन ऑफ देम वी विल बी एबल टू प्रूव ऑल ऑफ देम वी डोंट नीड टू रिमेंबर देम फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव कॉस ए माइनस बी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू कॉस ए इंटू कॉस b plus sin a into sin b how this formula comes what is the derivation of this formula for that we need to understand certain things first of all uh, if you take an x and y coordinate then uh, if this is 0 0 and you take some point here say this is at r distance so what is the coordinate of this point from here to here let me just this is the x x point that is this one and this is the y point so this point will be if you say this is r and this is theta then you take you can take this as a triangle this is a hypotenuse this is perpendicular this is base so we know that this by pandit badri prasad har har bol the sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse p by h so in order to i find out the y y point this perpendicular we need to find out p will be equal to h sin theta and we are assuming assuming this h to be r here so it will be r sin theta so this y point y axis will be r sin theta what about x let us take the cos of this cos theta is base upon hypotenuse so this base we need to find out base will be equal to h is r here we are assuming it to be r this is r so it will be r cos theta so now r cos theta so a point with theta angle from the x axis and from the origin this random point would be r cos theta comma r sin theta these are the coordinate now if you take r as 1 say unit the points will be this point will be r will be 1 so it will be cos theta comma sin theta so this is what we are going to use so let us take let us take a unit circle that is a circle with the radius as unit 1 say this is angle a from here to here or you can say this is a angle b because we have to find a minus b and let us say we have this as angle b or angle a so from here to here it is angle a from here to here it is angle b so let us say this point is p2 this say this point as p0 and this one as p1 so we have to find a minus b so if we assume this b as say 30 degree and this whole a from here as say 120 degree what will be this a minus b just subtract them it will be around 90 degree so in order to find out a minus b this will be a minus b this will be a minus b this whole a minus b will be this angle only so this is the a minus b so uh, this a minus b is 90 degree so why not to point or mark this 90 degree from here from x axis so let us say from here to here the 90 degree this is some point i'm just you know giving you an idea uh, this 90 degree i'm not taking i'm just uh, explaining it so let us say this point here which is p3 which is actually representing a minus b this whole angle minus b so let us join this so from here to here now this one is a minus b okay we have another scenario also if this is say smaller one is a bigger one is b then also we can find out so there may be very various scenarios here so this is a minus b okay now there are certain things which we need to understand that if we have a circle and we say that this angle is let me make it again this is your p1 this is the p2 so this is angle a and this angle is b uh, this angle is b and this is angle is a and this is p3 
So from here to here, this angle is A minus B. As I suggested, you hold, take whole A and subtract B from here. So this is A minus B. And this P3 we have represented, we are saying that, okay, we'll start with the x-axis and we'll make this as A minus B only. So now this A minus B and this is also A minus B. So just join this chord. This one, oh, sorry, this one and this one. So this is one chord and this is another chord. But we know in a circle, if we have uh, two chords, so this chord and say so this chord, and they are having the same angle or they are subtending the same angle, say this is A minus B and this is A minus B, then these two chords have to be equal. So this, this chord and this chord because they have A minus B angle and A minus B angle. So we can say that the length of these chords have to be equal. That is P1, P2 will be equal to this P1, P2 will be equal to, let us see this is P0. So P0, P3. P1, P2 is equal to P0, P3. Okay. Now, how to get this, these points? As I suggested you, this is cos theta sin theta. So this is angle A. So this P2 will be cos B sin B. What will be this point? This point will be, since this is angle A, so this will be cos A sin A. And what will be this? This angle is from here to here it is A minus B. So this will be cos A minus B comma sin A minus B. So these are the coordinates of P1, P2, uh, P3 and P0 of course, because this is a unit length, this will be 1 comma 0. So in order to find out P1, P2, what we have to do? P1, P2, this one. So cos A minus cos B. And you know that if you have two points here, this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2. So what, we, what is the distance? It will be x2 minus x1 whole square. plus y2 minus y1 whole square under root. So this is the distance. Same thing we are going to do. P1, P2, the distance will be what? P1, P2 is cos A minus, so this one minus this one, cos A minus cos B whole square plus sin A minus sin B whole square under root. So let me square it so that I may remove this under root, this under root I may remove. So I'm, I have squared it, so let us not worry about the under root. Now what is this distance from here to here? It will be cos A minus B minus 1. So cos A minus B minus 1 whole square plus the sin A minus B minus 0 whole square. So sin A minus B minus 0 whole square, so it doesn't matter, it will be whole square only. Sin A minus B minus 0, so it doesn't matter, it will be sin square B only. Now let us uh, open them. This will be cos square A plus cos square B minus 2 cos A cos B. Now this one will be A minus B whole square, so it will be sin square A plus sin square B minus 2 sin A sin B. And what will be this side? It will be simply this cos A minus B minus 1 whole square. So cos square A minus B plus 1 square that will be 1 minus 2 cos A minus B. And this will be sin square A. A minus B. Now if you see here, this is cos square A and this is sin square A, that will be 1 because we know sin square A plus cos square A equal to 1. This will be equal to 1. So this cos square A sin square will be 1. Again, this is cos square B, this is sin square B, so it will be 1. And this will be minus 2 cos A cos B, this one, and this will be minus 2 sin A sin B. What about this one? Cos square A and sin square is cos square A minus B sin square A minus B. That will be again 1. This is again 1. And this will be minus 2 cos A minus B. 
If you see here, 1, 1 cancels, 1, 1 cancels. Now let us divide both sides by minus 2. So minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So this will be cos A, cos B, plus, because we, are, we have divided it by minus 2. So minus 2, minus 2 cancels. This will be plus sin A, sin B. And this is equal to, again, minus 2, minus 2 cancel. This will be cos A minus B. So if you remember, I started with cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B, cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So this is our, this is our derivation. This is how we get cos A, cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Let me write it again. So what do we get? We got cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So this is the only proof which you need to know. Otherwise other proofs will automatically come. How? If you want cos say A plus B. How can you write A plus B? You can write cos A minus of minus B. This is same. A minus of minus B. So now here A is A but B is minus B. So let us write it here. Cos A cos this is minus B plus sin A and sin this will be minus B. So what do you get? Cos minus theta is plus cos theta. So it will be cos A cos B only. But sin minus theta is minus sin theta. So minus come, will come here. Sin A sin B. So cos A cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. So this is the proof of the second formula. Now if you want to find out say sin A minus B. How do you get it? Sin A minus B. Because we know that sin A minus B is sin A cos B minus cos, cos A sin B. How do we get it? Sin A minus B can be written as cos 90 minus theta. So 90 minus A minus B. You can always write that. Right. Now just expand it because we know cos 90 minus theta is what? First let me just take it here. This will be equal to cos. I am taking 90 and A together and B, B uh, along with that. So 90 minus A and plus B. If you see minus minus becomes plus. So 90 minus A plus B. Now I am trying to expand it. This is sin A minus B. Let me expand it. Cos. Cos A will use this formula. Cos A plus B. This is cos A cos B. That is cos 90 minus A. Cos A. And cos B. Then minus sin 90 minus A and sin b. What is cos 90 minus theta? We know that it is sin theta. So sin a. Cos b remains like this. Sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. Cos a sin b. So this is the formula of sin a minus b. I hope you will be able to solve now for, now for sin a plus b. Same way we did it for this one. So sin a plus b, I am writing the formula directly. Sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So these are the four formula 1, 2 and 3 and 4.